She well, needs to be given the proper care. She's not going to get well sitting in a jail cell. Well, frankly, I'm not so worried about her. I'm worried about her kids. Listen, she, she drove into the ocean with her kids. A person capable of doing that is capable of defying court orders. Yes, Absolutely. the court order says you're not supposed to go anywhere near Absolutely. your infant child, but right, uh, right. who knows That's if right. she has the ability to track this child down. Let me go out to the phone lines. Kiana, Kentucky. Kiana, what do you have to say? Kiana? Um, yes, um, honestly, I feel like it's ridiculous. They might as well um, let her own a daycare, in my eyes. I think it's, it's really stupid. The judge's decision was really dumb. I don't. I feel like the kid's life is in danger. I feel more sorry for the newborn baby. I mean, what is, how does it go? Just because she feels normal now? How she might feel, you know, like some of the kids the next day. I feel like it was just a dumb decision, if you ask me. Mo Ivory, uh, attorney, radio personality of, out of Atlanta, what should the judge have done? I think that I don't really disagree that the judge might have put her somewhere where she can continue to get some mental health care. I don't altogether think that's a bad idea. I think it's a terrible idea to release her into the public space. It's a terrible idea for her to know where her children are. Yes, the court order said do not go anywhere near your children, but one of the very children that she just had is with the husband that she just basically wrote a love letter to. Come and who on. bailed her out, and who, bailed, and who uh, who uh, obviously bailed her out. I just think it's bad supervision by the um, by the judge, I think it's a bad decision. And, and I would like to see her get some more help, but she still has to face a court trial. So this woman is going to be there every day facing a court trial. She has to stand up for what she did. And I think you're endangering the children by allowing her to be in the same place, the same city where well, they are. And not even necessarily, listen, even just because he bailed her out, we have a statement from uh, her attorney who says, she's been visiting with me, she's uh, staying, inside all the rules that were set by the judge. So we can't make any leaps. I, I honestly don't know why this man would have bailed her out because she accused him of being abusive. She accused him of raping her. She I accused know, of Jane. touching I the kids. I don't know why he bailed let, her. Let me go he to Wendy her out Walsh. For control. He bailed her out for control, Jane. He bailed her out because if what she's saying is true and he's abusive, it's all about the control. He wants to be able to dangle it over her head and say, look, I bailed you out. You have to do whatever I tell you to do because now you're indebted to me. And these DV relationships are so toxic. We always know that the abuser and the, and the DV victim have this okay. toxic type of relationship. But again, Wendy Walsh, we don't have any knowledge other than a crazy woman saying my husband beat me. He is denying those allegations. In fact, he said he didn't know about it till he heard in media reports. Yeah, we don't know the truth because what? she made those comments while she was under pregnancy psychosis. So we don't know what wait, she was wait, hallucinating wait, wait, wait. about. Wait, I just, wait, let, wait, her, wait. let Wendy finish. Let Wendy finish for one second. Thanks. I, I just want to say one thing. You know, this would be a very different situation if the phone call that was made from the sister was white, more educated, and had good health insurance. She was really dismissed by the 911 operator. The 911 operator was saying, so why are you calling? What does she need? She just said that she was potentially attacked by her husband. That sounds to me like call the police, it's domestic violence request. And then we need a 5150 because she's having a mental health breakdown. But she was really dismissed and didn't get the care she needed from the beginning when the well, first call came. Well, let me say came. this, that in response to that 911 call, which occurred approximately two hours before she tried to drive her kids into the ocean and did drive her kids into the ocean. Um, in response to that call, authorities did visit her, they interviewed her, and she said, I'm headed to a domestic violence shelter. She didn't say I'm going to the ocean to drive my kids into the ocean. I'm not a man, it doesn't make sense to me. Listen, uh, I've done therapy, I've done uh, many, many self-help. They are but very never long, had pregnancy psychosis. Process. No, I've never had pregnancy psychosis. But I think You've that she just had gave birth. pregnancy psychosis. She just gave one. birth. So and, wouldn't and she also, possibly have postpartum psychosis again? Is, but my point is, this woman is really, we're not doing the right thing for her anyway. For If we want to do what's best for her family, Jane, then we need to give her the mental health services she needs. We need to give the social services to the kids. We need but to work on either Wendy trying to put this hospital. family back Wendy. together or finding a better place for these kids permanently. Wendy. Wendy. But just putting her in jail to rot because you... Did someone Wendy. call a new mother a bum and an evil person? Did no, I hear me, that on the no, show? No, let me just That's amazing. Yeah, no. I guess you did what? because she, she drove her three kids ages three 
three, nine, and ten at the time into the ocean and Jane. fought people who tried to rescue them. Jane, Wendy while she was saying... having a mental health right. event. Wendy, Wendy, you oh, keep come on saying. Look, being a woman doesn't mean you're not a bum. Come on. Yeah, what are you, you also, doing? You also keep saying that she can she be needs, a bum. One at a time, she's please. A mother, okay, Mo. She's not a bum. She Mo, keeps on ahead. saying that she needs the mental care help. Obviously, she was getting that in jail because she then came right out of right. jail onto the stand and said, I'm back to my regular self. It's worked. Whatever they gave me, it's oh, working Oh, yeah, the for jail me. is well I'm, known well, for no, their good health services got, and she their she mental got, health services. Wendy, she Top got, quality. Got, she got on right. the stand and she said she was back her. to her regular self. So obviously, the medication yes. that they were giving her in jail helped her go from driving my kids into the ocean to I'm back to my regular self. So something was going fine there that they could have kept on doing and kept her behind bars.